I'm Hugh, Hugh Lewis-Jones, uh, an expedition guide for Poseidon. Uh, we're here in Havalsoy in southern Greenland, but this time next year our ship will be in Britain, which is great news for me. I'm from Britain, uh, well actually I'm an Anglo-Welsh uh, Guernseyman now living in Cornwall. But instead of Greenland, next year Poseidon, 2019, will be positioning our ship specially to Britain to begin a trip for the very first time. 13 days, May through June, we're going to explore the best of British. Uh, the trip begins in Plymouth, not so far from where I live in actual fact, a great place of departure of famous voyages. Think of the Pilgrim Fathers leaving for America or great explorers setting off uh, to the unknown world. We'll be joining our ship, the Sea Spirit, in Plymouth uh, and then setting sail for the west for the Scilly Isles, great uh, islands on the southwest corner of England, off the tip of Cornwall. Uh, we'll be heading to Tresco. It's a bit like the Caribbean for England, really uh, the sunniest and the warmest that we can expect to get in May. I should say it's not always sunny in, uh, in the British Isles in the summer, uh, but we'll, we'll try our best. After a day uh, in Tresco, uh, we'll be heading uh, round the Irish Sea northward to Ireland, I uh, hope to make some landings on the Skellig Islands. Uh, really uh, beautiful uh, sites for, for seabirds, but also uh, for early uh, Christian uh, history. Uh, we'll be making a day trip uh, to Dunmore, uh, picking up some Waterford Crystal, if that's your thing, coming across the Irish Sea to Wales, to North Wales, in fact, uh, where my father and my family's from, uh, to Snowdon, Snowdonia National Park. Uh, we'll be going maybe taking tea in Betsy Coyd, admiring the rugged mountains, uh, big mountains uh, for Britain, not perhaps so big from where you are, but uh, beautiful nonetheless, exploring Conway Castle and then jumping on the ship again, coming back across the Irish Sea to Northern Ireland, uh, to Rathlin, Port Rush, the Giant's Causeway. Uh, you've probably heard of that beautiful geologic site, as well as more ancient castles. Back to sea, more islands, to Scotland and uh, more seabirds, puffins, guillemots, uh, all sorts of wonderful uh, wildlife, kittiwakes, arctic terns maybe even. Uh, we head from Iona to St Kilda, Shetlands and the, and the Hebrides, uh, beautiful uh, important stories as much as gorgeous wildlife in scenery not unlike this, although this is of course a loch, uh, a fjord in, in Greenland. Uh, we go north again uh, in the wake of uh, the Vikings, I suppose, island hopping. It's amazing to think we're here in, uh, in this, this site uh, in Greenland um, where uh, an amazing church was built, probably the first Christian church in the whole of Greenland, built uh, by the uncle of Eric the Red, has a famous name, but built in British style, possibly even by Norwegian and Scots masons, amazing uh, craftwork and we'll actually see some similar uh, Viking uh, buildings and old Neolithic sites in the Orkney Islands. So we'll get the best of the Scottish Islands as we can, uh, Fair Isle 2, uh, Kirkwall, Orkney uh, and the Shetlands and then finish our voyage in Edinburgh. So 13 days, a huge amount to pack in. As I said, the best of British, some of these islands uh, are, are very little visited, very difficult to get to, but the best way to get to them is to join our ship and do it all within two weeks. If you're keen for more adventure after Edinburgh, well, you could stay on the ship for another voyage. Uh, from Edinburgh, we go north into the ice, northward through Jan, Jan Mayen up to Svalbard to the edge of the Arctic Ocean. So that's next year. This year, for now, I must go back and rejoin our passengers. We have Zodiac boats to ferry back to the ship to gather people in from this wonderful nighttime, uh, early evening landing here in southern Greenland. I'm Hugh Lewis Jones. I look forward to seeing some of you, I hope, next year as your expedition leader on the British Isles trip with Poseidon Expeditions.